touch the gloves when the time starts. So time has started. You want to go ahead and put on your gloves. Also, maybe invest in baby powder. <laughs> put on gloves. Expose. Oh my God! Next, you want to hold it with your hand. You go ahead and grab the red. Rip it. You want to go ahead and remove this. Get the padding. White. Then your hair. Put your hand back over it. Grabbing this. Pulling it off. Screaming exhale, exhale, exhale. Sticking it on there. Next, you want to lift up your cavity. Looking for exit wounds. See you one. All right, you can do this on the ground or on your A bag. Uh, it's recommended to do more on this just because it's easier. If you want to, make sure it's more flat. Make sure you get your three inch tape. Don't be stingy with the tape. Use as much tape as you need. Make sure you get in the middle, center, tape down. Alright, next, now it's just taping all four sides. Make sure you're over it. The best thing you do is overlap the tape on the edges. So that way you don't have any openings. Make sure you flatten all the sides. Make sure that you don't have any creases or anything like that. Same thing with the other side. Ripping. Using as much tape as possible, playing it out. Alright, for the last part, this is the most important part. You put it on there, screaming exhale, 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 flatting it down. Ripping it off. Make sure all sides are flat and there's no air coming in, like so. If that happens, if you have extra time, I recommend putting out more tape. If not, you better just crush that bitch down and pray to God that the teacher or the instructor don't say anything. All right, next to the important part, you want to go ahead and put him on his recovery side, meaning injured side down, injured side down on the ground or position of comfort. When he's that, you want to go ahead and tell your instructor you look for progressive respiratory distress and you want to go ahead and that's it